Alrighty folks, just working on the back of the old land yacht today and uh, I've just performed the one and only uh, body modifica modification that we're going to be doing to the car. I was basically here in the spare wheel well, just went ahead with a grinder and uh, chopped out this thing here that was uh, positioned there for keeping the carpet just up on top of the spare wheel and for tying down uh, said spare wheel. So as we can see, hopefully from, from this, um, I've just put a coat of um, under sealer just over the exposed metal just to keep it from corroding and uh, we have a battery box uh, made out of 3mm aluminium that'll be going in here so uh, that's it over there and uh, got some of that um, underfloor heating mat stuff we're going to be trying out for battery heating and get rid of that and uh, so we're going to sit that box in there and that will hold uh, 11 cells and then hopefully we'll be able to see here in the back um, just behind the seats and in the boot area we have a another battery box and this box here is also made out of 3mm aluminium sheet it's got two uh, compartments in it and uh, these compartments uh, will hold a total of 22 cells meaning that we'll have a total in the back area here of 11 and 22 so 33 cells uh, in the back area I will still have all of this area here we have a carpet and a partition going up there in the back so we'll still have more than enough uh, boot space for shopping golf clubs all that kind of stuff not that I play play golf, but everybody seems to think that uh, if a car doesn't have enough space in the boot for golf clubs, there's something wrong with it. So, kind of have to be seen to satisfy the masses. So that's the story there. I'm going to sit that battery box in and uh, see how it looks. Okay, so there's our wheel well battery box. Just uh, approximately sitting in there and uh, looks pretty good needs a little bit of twiddling to make it a perfect fit but that box will hold 11 cells and uh, once that's bolted down to the chassis this carpet will basically just uh, fall right down on top of it and we'll have the, the other battery box in there sectioned off, carpeted off and uh, that'll be hopefully how it'll all look pretty much uh, pretty much standard so uh, see if we can go ahead and get that box in there and uh, see how it's going to turn out so I'll kind of have the I'll have the uh, going underneath the battery box but just for the purposes of today's uh, just the purposes of actually seeing it in there today we'll go with it so that's it we know that will be carpeted off get some of that grey carpet out of a scrap uh, car be able to section all that off still have that much boot space and still have well over half the required amount of cells back here so that is uh, just a first look at the battery boxes and uh, we'll be getting some cells, we have some cells already in um, using some of these uh, underfloor heating mats in there with some odds and sods for doing a little bit of battery warming which is very important and uh, so that'll be the that'll be the battery box area in the rear of the car. And in one sense, it's quite fortunate that I can get this many cells in here 
um, that means I don't have to do any cutting out underneath the rear seats don't need to do that uh, won't be doing any other chassis modifications to the car which um, is quite important so that's it just a little first taster on the uh, battery boxes I just thought I'd go ahead there and just uh, test fit a couple of the cells into that battery box as I'm hoping we can see are quite a nice fit uh, this is my first bit of filming with the old Samsung Galaxy here, just sort of try it out. Has to be better than that crappy camcorder. So, there we go folks, there's our first four cells just sitting in the rear battery box. And uh kind of suspect this is going to work out. Got our uh, wheel well battery box down here. So that needs to be installed, it's just basically sitting there just for the minute, so. Um, there's our first couple of cells just sitting in there, so I think when that's populated um, and connected up we should be good to go. So I'll be using some polycarbonate on the front. Got some uh, the braided straps from Jack to uh, wire up the terminals. We'll do some landing then on the front of that just to... Uh, give ourselves two connections from each battery box and, uh, that box there as I think I said earlier holds 22 cells so we have 11 in the one down here for uh, 33 cells in the back of the car still leaving us plenty of boot space and uh, so that's it that's just a taste around the battery boxes and uh, we'll be back soon with uh, hopefully some more cells and trying to get some of this stuff done and uh, more more updates soon as they say